Prophet Amos Amos was a shepherd before he became a prophet. He lived in the kingdom of Judah but preached in the northern kingdom of Israel. One day he went to the prosperous town of Bethel. He was quite distraught to see what it had become. The people had acquired their riches through immoral means. They cheated the poor, offered loans with high interests, and if the poor were unable to repay, they would grab the lands. At times, they made them slaves. The courts also sided with the rich. There was no justice. A furious Amos spoke. You must see God or you will be punished. People from outside will seize your land. You will be taken as prisoners. But there is still hope. Return to God. If you will, he will help you. You will be prosperous once again. Jonah in the storm. Jonah was a prophet. God told him to go to the city of Nineveh to tell the people to mend their wicked ways. But Jonah did not go there. Instead, he took a ship to run away as far as he could. An angry God sent a fierce storm in the sea. Jonah knew that God was angry. He said to the captain, If you throw me into the sea, the storm will stop. In the sea, a fish swallowed Jonah. After three days and three nights, the fish spat him out. Jonah said to God, Forgive me, I was thoughtless and got frightful. But now I will go to the city of Nineveh. And so Jonah went there and told the people of God's warning. The people became remorseful. God forgave them, but Jonah was angry as to why God had forgiven them. So God said, I love all the people of the world and not just Israel. Prophet Micah Micah was a prophet who lived in a small town in Judah. He saw that people were slowly forgetting God. They were becoming greedy and deceitful. Even the priest had turned evil. They would twist the laws of God to soothe themselves. The rich were getting richer while the poor were getting poorer. Micah warned the people saying, The Lord will punish you for your evil ways. But the people paid no heed to his warning. Their thinking was that God was in his holy temple and would always shield them. But Micah told them, one day, God will walk away from the temple. If you remain like this, Jerusalem will be reduced to ruins. There will be a forest in place of the holy temple. In the future, a man from Bethlehem will come to rule Israel. He will be God's messenger. Zechariah is blessed. In Judea, there lived a priest named Zechariah and his wife Elizabeth. They did not have a child, so they were very unhappy. 
One day, an angel appeared in front of Zechariah. The angel said, I am Gabriel and have been sent by God. Soon, your wife will have a baby boy who shall be called John. He will bring great joy to you both and peace to the world. Through him, many people will turn to God. Zechariah could not believe this as he and his wife were past age to bear children. The angel sensed his disbelief and said, Since you doubt my words, you will not be able to talk till all that I have told you comes true. So Zechariah could not talk and could only make gestures. After a short time, Elizabeth became pregnant. She was overjoyed that God had chosen her. Thanks for watching. Do like, share, subscribe to Sahil Book House.